Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hello, and welcome to a very late edition of Cut the Tape. My name is Rick Alvarez, and today I thought we'd try something a little different. Trying a different camera angle, and I thought we would experiment with this new camera angle with some smaller items. So, these are Creo Transformers. Now, Creo has had a very interesting lifespan. Originally, it started off with minifigures and sets uh, of all different sizes. Uh, however, Creo has pretty much been relegated to a dollar store. Items. In fact, the G.I. Joe Creo Creos are still available at dollar stores, only uh, they've taken all the G.I. Joe stickers and branding off of them. So you can still buy vehicles and figures, but there's no G.I. Joe mention on the box. It does say Creo, though. So these are dollar store. Uh, I think I got these at Dollar General here in the United States. Uh, this is uh, cut the tape for our domestic audience. Our international audience will see something different, unfortunately. So, there appears to be, as you can see from the back, and I haven't found them all yet, but these are, these are actually a couple years old. Uh, so there's Optimus Bumblebee Sideswipe Grimlock, and there's four different flavors for each one. They all appear to have the same parts, so it's a basic minifigure, but with some accessories to amplify the minifigure. All right, let's cut this open. I have been waiting to open my Creos for a really, really long time. All right. So interesting, these actually came packaged in two sizes. So this is the smaller of the two. There's an actual car that's a little bit bigger, but it has all the same pieces. I think the smaller ones are the more recent and are the easier ones to get. So we have our extra pieces here. We have our minifigure. And there it is. And you know what? You got this, if you cut the bubble right, you got a cool little stand you can put in your display case. All right, so we have our Bumblebee figure. Now these, the deco for these seem to be inspired by Robots in Disguise. The new series, not the 2000 era series. There's the head, helmet. Oh! All right, we got a few extra pieces here in this little bag. Before I open those, I wanna see what's inside of this. All right, we're gonna collect all 12 figures. So these are called, I guess the, it's called Armor Up, Blizzard Strike, Night Strike. So you get a solid color one, you get a clear version, and then you get a night version. So that's the Night Strike version for all of them, that's the Blizzard Strike for all of them, and that's the Armored Up for all of them. And you actually have a cool little image here of Bumblebee all armored up. All right, so we are actually gonna open this little bag. Hope you're enjoying the close-up views of my very hairy palms. All 
All right, so we're gonna take Bumblebee. We're gonna take these leg adapters. One, two, Nope. Now, one thing that always bothered me about Creo was the ball and socket joint on the arms. Now, it does give them more, mo more mobility, but they always seemed a little, 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 little bit flimsy to me. Uh, if you guys remember the blind Creo packs that came in the little bags... Uh, I had a big hand in working on those and developing what characters would go into those. And a lot of those characters were supplemental to uh, combiner sets. So if you got five combiners in a set, then the, say, the sixth combiner could have been in one of the, the blind packs. And that's where we first started getting uh, Spinister involved. I just really liked that character, and I thought, you know what, we gotta get that guy in there. And we did. Alright, so we have our basic armored up Bumblebee. That's pretty cool. I will say that's pretty cool. You even get, like, some really good knee articulation. And what's cool about these weapons is, if you remember the... Uh, three millimeter clips on a lot of the uh the hu the smaller human alliance figures they were the smaller human alliance figures from movie three these will work well with them and again I, th I think i said this last time you don't see enough customizers taking advantage of that all right i mean by itself that's pretty good that's that's pretty good. Let's see. So this alone is an improvement over the regular minifigures. But now you can add them up even more. And the great thing about building blocks, Lego, if you say the Lego system, I know Lego guys are kind of purists. They won't play with Mega Blocks. And uh, Mega Blocks guys sometimes don't play with Legos. I I am, I'm all over the place. I like Mega Blocks. I like Legos. I like Creo. Because uh, not everyone has the same license. Oh, look. All right. So we got a little... Oh, perfect. Look at that. That... That is awesome. Now I have some ex I have two extra parts. Oh, I see. Excellent. Look at that. Right on the back. Oh my god. You know, I really regret not opening these earlier because this this is a really good minifigure. Oh my gosh. That's really good. I tend not to like the the cute stuff. And I consider this in with the cute stuff, but you know what? There's the, uh, like, the old Choro Qs and the uh, World Smallest. Like, that's cute stuff. I tend not to gravitate towards that. I, I still collect it all. Uh, and only some of those do I actually, like, really enjoy and go, oh, man, that's really cool. I'm glad I got it. These have been sitting for a few years. You know what? Let's open Sideswipe. We got Sideswipe, and we got Optimus, and this is usually a 20-minute show. All right. I tell, oh, oh, you know what's great? All right, so this is actually Night Strike. I think this is the Night Strike Sideswipe. And this is the Blizzard Strike Optimus. And we have a regular armor up Bumblebee. I don't have a complete set of all of them, just because I've never found them. But these are extras that I do have. And it just kind of worked out that I have 
All right, so here you go. And it just worked out that I have one of each flavor. So the Blizzard Strike has some clear parts to it. Now, I would say a trend that's happening in the world of collecting, which I would say started late 1990s, early, early, early 2000s, is the black figure, a red figure, and a clear figure, or a shining figure, which means it's clear, but it's got some glitter in it, or it's like a... It's not like a clear clear, it's like an orange clear, or a red clear, or a blue clear. And originally... Okay, so that's, that's great. There's the art for Optimus. So I would say this trend started with uh, kaiju toys, uh, specifically Godzilla toys. And it's kind of gravitated towards Transformers... I would say the first couple of examples are the uh, black G1 reissues, like the black G1 Optimus Prime reissue. And now it's become very mainstream. All right, but back to the Creo. So I do love Lego minifigures. They're, they're unique in their own way. Um, I'm not a fan of the ball and socket joint for minifigures on Creo, but it does allow for more mo mobility. What I do like about Creo, they got this little hole here for you to add on wheels, whatever. They got the clips on the arms for you to be able to clip on weapons. So watch, if I want to clip this on here, I can. Now, in the instructions, it doesn't go there, but it's it's a customizable build, right? You can build whatever you want, however you want. With building toys, there is never a right or a wrong way to build. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to build it following the instructions. So this is... You don't often see this in Transformers where there's like, it's Night Strike Team... And they're all in the similar deco. Um, gosh, when was... So I would say Transformers, Dark Energon, they were supposed to be an Amazon exclusive. Ended up going to Big Bad Toy Store as exclusives. Dark Energon deco. Those were... They all had the same transparent plastic features, right? But... And here's the butt. But they weren't the same color. These guys are all the same color. So there's the Blizzard Strike, the Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Grimlock, Optimus. They all have the white. The Night Strike armor. Is that what it's called? Night Strike. They're all black. So if you guys remember the Wings of Honor Transformers Bakon gift set. That was the original idea. At least that, that was my... That was the way I pitched it to Brian. That, alright, it's a special mission. That way we can get all these different characters that Hasbro's been telling us, hey, you need to get an Optimus in there. You need to get uh, all the popular guys in there. How come they're not part of Bakan? So that was how that set started, where it was... All right, let's get, let's make a special mission team. And they're all going on the special mission and they're all going to be like decked out in black. That eventually turned out to be um, the Wings of Honor set where it's like, all right, well, we're just going to make them elite guardsmen instead. But originally that was the plan. All right, so in true Creo fashion, we are missing a part. I'm gonna double oh, there, there it is. All right. I will say this about Lego. You never miss a part. In fact, you always have leftover parts. 
with Creo, remember the very first set I ever build, built was the movie-inspired type Megatron. And I was missing a key piece for the shoulder. Luckily, I was working at Hasbro at the time, and so I went down to the Creo office and I bothered my good friend Richard Woodhouse, who was working on Creo. And I said, hey, my Megatron's missing a shoulder piece. He was like, all right, no, no problem. Just go to the bucket and get it. Not everyone's in that position, though. So I think when I started this video, I said there were four flavors. Because it looks like there's four flavors, right? Night Strike. Okay, Night Strike, Blizzard, Armor Up. It's three flavors, four different characters. That was my mistake. 26 pieces. Are they all 26 pieces? 27? Nope. All right, Optimus is 27, Bumblebee is 23. So even though they have different amount of pieces, they're all at the same price point. And even though they're at the dollar store, they're, I wanna say these were like 10 bucks each. Let me know if you guys are digging this new camera angle I'm using. I'm, I'm still getting used to it. I think I maybe need to get like, if I can get like a steady cam that hangs off my, uh, my chest, I, that may sound weird. Now, even though this is Sideswipe, I think, I'm pretty sure that's like the knockout head from Transformers Prime. All right, so these guys all seem to have the same shoulders and the same legs. And that's not unusual when you're dealing with a build system. I mean, so that alone is pretty good. And then you get the little faction symbol there right there in the middle of his armor, his uniboob. One thing that I uh, was real upset about is that the last set of uh, Creo figures, a lot of them went to Canada as Canadian exclusives, the blind bags, and I mean, even some of the sets. And us uh, American fans just could not get them. Uh, and they were really cool. They were like, there was a, hey, there's a cowboy now. There's a cowboy Optimus. Yeehaw, there's a cowboy Optimus. Uh, and there was like, oh, God, I don't know, clown bumblebee or, or soccer bumblebee or something. And it's like, those ones, you could never get them here. And I went to Canada on unrelated business, found a few, but didn't find them all and those sets uh, are pretty expensive those individual figures are, are pretty expensive to find now if you can find them at all I still have a few that I bought in Canada sealed in the bag which I'll get to eventually so I picked Creo for today, not just for the new camera angle to see how it would work, but also because I'm setting up my Creo display case. All right, so let's see. We have Armor Up, which is the more traditional version of the character. You have Blizzard, which is a... Uh, clear and white interpretation. And then you have Night Strike, which is like a shadow infiltration force. 
and uh, all the sets, all four figures across the three different color sets have the same part. So like Bumblebee, Blizzard's Armor Up Bumblebee, Blizzard Strike Bumblebee, Night Force Attack Ranger Bumblebee all have the same parts, it's just decoed differently. Hmm. Man, I, you know, just opening these up really wants me to, I gotta try and find the other. If you have any of these guys, please email me at cutthetape at tftalk.net. I'm really happy with these. This is my first time opening the uh, minifigures with the additional parts to make them even bulkier. Some of these sets showed up at Ross or like at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. These sets came from the dollar store. This is what Transformers Creo should have been about from the beginning. It's a shame that these came at the tail end. These are really, really nice. These are super, super nice. Now, here's a Lego minifigure, just by comparison, compared to the armor up. Now, when you have all the armor off, they're about the same size, but here's a Lego minifigure. Just happened to have one. And you know what? I wouldn't mind getting these toys in these colors. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, a Blizzard Strike action team, like if it was a Target, Walmart exclusive or whatever. Make it weird. Make it like a 7-Eleven USA exclusive. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us on Cut the Tape. Email us. Check out the whole TFYLP network. Remember to keep your hands clean, wash them, wear a mask, and vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for. Just vote. Thank you. Be well. And we'll see you next time on Cut the Tape.